Probably the most common material used in construction today is concrete. And for that material to operate or perform as it was designed, it has to meet certain criteria. And that criteria is provided by the structural engineer. It is a measure of its compressive strength. How much load will that concrete take before it fractures? Well, to test that capacity, to make sure that it does indeed conform with the assumed strength that was used in the plans and specifications, we use a machine like this. This is a compression machine. This particular compression machine has a capacity of one million pounds. Uh, there are only two like it in Southern California, and we have one of them. What we do with this machine is we take samples of concrete. They may be concrete cylinders. Uh, we take samples of grout, of mortar. We take full masonry prisms. Now, a masonry prism is a block that has been mortared together and then filled with grout just as if it had come straight out of a wall. And we test them in this machine. Well, one of the things we're going to show you today is called concrete masonry unit conformance testing. What that means is we take a single block and we test it to see whether or not it has the compressive strength that it needs to. Because a, a concrete masonry block wall is simply a concrete wall that has a form and then you put steel in it and you fill it with grout and that makes that form become part of the unit or the, the, uh, the composite of that wall. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a concrete masonry unit and we're going to load it into this machine and we're going to test it. All right. So what you're looking at is a masonry block. Uh, sometimes they call them cinder block. Uh, they are definitely not brick. But this is a masonry block, it's a hollow masonry block. And in this particular case, there isn't a center wythe. Uh, sometimes you see them and it looks like they've got a cell here and a cell here. Well, this one is just an open cell. What we have done is we've taken this and we put it on top of a steel plate that is uh, level as per the ASTM specification and then a glass plate on top of that so we get a nice smooth surface and we have poured gypsum plaster. This is a special high strength material that is used for uh, testing concrete and, and masonry units. Uh, then we poured, uh, we poured that on the bottom, then we flipped it over and we did the same thing on the top. Now, what's going to happen is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in that machine. And the surface that will come in contact with the top and bottom platens is so level, so uh, precise that we won't have any high pressure points. So what we're going to do now is Miguel is going to take the glass plate off the top. And then he's going to move, there you go, break it loose from the bottom. And then he's going to move that block to the testing platen. And he'll slide the block in so that it lines up perfectly with the platen, front and back, and centered. So we are all ready to test. So Miguel is going to turn on the, the pump that will begin the load on this machine. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to bring it down into contact so that the top platen is actually touching the block. That has to be done very carefully. That top platen, that big block that's up on top of the concrete masonry unit, the big steel block, actually pivots. It swivels so that it can be uh, placed absolutely level on top of the block. Once that's brought down, then the pressure that's e exerted will be uniform across the entire surface of the top of the block. You'll notice in the, in, the, uh, in the picture that there is a large steel cylinder that's below all of, the, all of the machine that's being tested. That's actually what's pushing. The bottom is coming up. 
All right, so now we are going to begin the load. And as you'll, uh, what's happening is the load is starting to increase. And as it does, the um, pressure on that block is increasing. Right now, we're at about 5,600 pounds of pressure. We're coming a little over seven, 70,000 pounds of pressure. 90,000 pounds of pressure. Again, this is all, this is load, this is pounds. 100,000 pounds of pressure. We, we don't know what the cross-sectional area of the block is uh, to put it into the machine. We know what it is from our measurements, but we won't be able to give you the PSI until after we're done. So we're up to 144,000 pounds of pressure. Now this machine, again, is capable of putting one million pounds of pressure. <laughs> so it doesn't, uh, it, it's not intimidated by that block. But as you'll see, the block certainly did uh, <laughs> give away under the pressure. All right, so our total was 159,150 pounds of pressure. Uh, by knowing the measurement of the cross-sectional area of the concrete portion of that block, not the, not the void in between, uh, we can then calculate the uh, total PSI that that block was stood in its work. So Miguel now is going to pull that out and he'll show you a little bit of what it looked like uh, after the test was completed. Here we have the block after the, uh, the testing is finished. You can see that the corner has fallen off, but it actually has fractured all the way across the block. It's just that the corner piece fell off first. Here's, here's part of what fell off. You can see that it actually sheared right through the aggregates. Uh, there's a, a good matrix in here. So the material that was used was very consistent. What I would like to do is have Miguel now take this and we're going to open it up so that you can see what the inside of this looks like where right along the fracture surface. Here's one of the walls and again you can see the uniformity of the fractures right through all of the aggregates. Uh, it's a beautiful cone shape. In other words, it broke so that the uh, surface of the fracture was diagonal. This is a very typical uh, uh, fracture pattern and it shows that the block was uniformly constructed and conformed. In fact, the results of this test was 2,240 PSI, so it conformed to the requirements for this block. Thank you for being with us today. It's been a real pleasure having you in the lab. We hope that in the process that you've learned something, something about the industry that we work in. We hope that we have been able to educate, that there have been some things that you've seen that maybe you didn't know before, maybe that you uh, understand better now. Nino and More has a commitment to the industry, to the people we work for, and to our community. Our motto is experience, quality, and commitment. We bring over 35 years of experience to the work that we do. Our quality is number one. That's really what our, um, that's what our clients really appreciate about what Nino and More brings is the quality of the work that we do. And our commitment to our clients is total. So we hope sometime to see you in person in one of our laboratories in the future. Thank you for coming and have a wonderful day.